All right, just updating my uh, training log here, and I don't know, I will plug this information into a spreadsheet, but I really, and I'm just a little old school, I really like having a big overall picture of the month of January to analyze and, and just see like, okay, this is working, this is not working, let's add strides. For example, in the fourth week of January, so basically starting January 21st, I'm gonna start adding strides to my running. And then the next week, I'm gonna start adding plyometrics. So anyway, just having that kind of big picture view helps my mind uh, comprehend and analyze like what's going on versus plugging it straight into, let's say a spreadsheet uh, it's a little harder for me to look at. So anyway, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Going to plug a few more things in before going out in the Fast Twitch 8s. They are on my feet. Wow. Uh, okay, and today I'm not going far. Uh, I'm going to go slow, but then I will pick it up at the end in the Fast Twitch 8s because, yes, these are racing shoes, but before, the, uh, before too much time goes along, I want to get you my first impressions on how they feel. And so anyway, looking good, feeling good, and yes, we'll talk about my board here in a minute as well. All right, here we go. See my first reaction, my facial expression as I take my first steps in the Saucony Fast Twitch 8. Uh, all right, here we go. Ready for this? Slow it down, Seth. Slow it down. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Ooh, nice. Okay. All right. Here we go. just have to mention that uh, I like easy days to be easy, hard, hard days to be hard. I think I'm bopping along at like 9, 10 pace right now, and uh, I like my easy days easy so I can fully, well, as close as possible, recover for hard days. And guess what? Tomorrow, I'm going 10 miles up in the mountains. So I'll come back for that. I think we'll get some beauty up there. But I think a lot of people are a little confused about how I train sometimes, especially on Strava. And I love all you guys for connecting with me on Strava. Thank you for that. But like, anyway, just want to mention I'm a big fan of different ways of stimulating your aerobic system and your legs. Meaning you're, let you, you're letting your legs fully recover on easy days as much as possible. And there you have it, and there you have it. The first run in the Saucony Fast Twitch 8s, a road racing shoe. I went f uh, three miles, so 5K, average just nine minutes a mile, uh, five and a half minutes per kilometer. And basically, I just have to mention that if you're trying a new shoe, you definitely need to be patient. Uh, the first mile in these guys, they did not feel very great on the feet. And then as the run went on, uh, they started feeling better and better and better. And so that muscle memory that you're building up in a, you know, in a 10 millimeter drop or a six millimeter drop or a zero drop as far as the heel to toe box stack heights, you know, that slope in the shoe, you're just, you, you're, you're your legs get used to that and so if you're switching up to a new brand a new uh, model of shoe you just got to be patient got it or if it's a different uh, midsole and outsole uh, as far as the rubber or the foam inside and here it is the fast twitch 8 again a uh, quick side note Saucony I think you did a decent job on the colorway uh, so the blue I like the look of the shoe I like the look of the shoe that's not the most important part of a shoe but it helps I think it looks good all right I'll share with you my favorite part of the shoe later tonight uh, once I, I gotta go do some errands go to work come back all that good stuff all right here we go All right, just zipped into Guitar Center to look for some foam to hang up in the studio shed to basically help improve the audio for the live streaming and just the general recording. But uh, $109, a little too steep for my liking as far as price. So I think we will go with uh, a little bit of a more affordable option, probably from Target 
or Walmart. <laughs> we will see. Or Amazon or wherever else I end up looking. So anyway, I basically I'm just striving for good quality audio for all of you. And I, I watched the replay of the live stream from last night and you know I, I I can just hear a little bit of an echo in the shed and I don't want that for you guys All right. oh my goodness nine o'clock nine o'clock that's a wrap for filming tonight and we will see you all at the shed oh boy I see a box on our front doorstep here Oh boy, what is this? I did not order this. What is this? All right. <sighs> a little tea, a little tea. I will always strive to be authentic and real with all of you here on YouTube. I am not trying to run a gear review or a running shoe YouTube channel, okay? That is not the goal of this YouTube channel, to do shoe reviews, shoe reviews. The goal is to share my story with you, to share some of my passions with you, uh, to share some of my family life with you, and to hopefully communicate a little bit of inspiration and hope with you, which oftentimes comes in the form of running, okay? Now that will not be the only way in the future that it is communicated to you through this camera, but a lot of times it will come through in the, in the form of running. And I think that's a beautiful thing because guess what? We can all lace up our shoes and go run, no matter what kind of shoes we have, whether it's the Fast Twitch 8s or the Vimero 14s or the Solomon Speed Cross 4s or whatever it might be. I just want to let you know that I'm not trying to do a running shoe review YouTube channel. That's not who I am, but I'm ridiculously grateful for this gift, the Saucony Fast Twitch 8, which was sent to me from a vlog fan. I did not buy the shoe, okay? And I'm, I, 18 months ago, I was buying running shoes off of Craigslist because I was on such a, t we, my true love and I, we were on such a tight budget trying to get out of debt that we I could not buy shoes brand new 18 months ago, all right? I feel ya, okay? So I, 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 if you're struggling to buy new running shoes, like I get it, I get it, I get it. All right, let's move on to the Saucony Fast Twitch 8. I know that's why you're here. And this is my first impression. This is the first time running in them today. I, this is not my full review. That'll happen down the road. $65, $65 right now. That's that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Running Warehouse, Amazon, Saucony.com. I saw that price all over the place. All right, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the whiteboard. Four millimeter drop, four millimeter drop. So pretty, pretty low actually. It's definitely a road racing shoe, uh, 6.4 ounces. So 183 grams. And uh, it's got an EVA, SSL EVA midsole is what they're calling it. All right, let's just cut to the chase. When will I use the Saucony Fast Twitch 8 moving forward in 2019? One mile and 5K road races. Now, will I race many 5Ks this year? Probably not too many. But this guy is gonna be perfect for a fast 5K on the roads. 10K, you could do a 10K. Half marathon, I would say you're starting to push the distance a little too far. Marathon, I would say definitely not. And I was actually open to this shoe. You know, I was just testing the waters to see if this could work out for a marathon. It doesn't, it's not gonna have enough cushion. Your legs are gonna get too beat up and probably too tired by the end of the marathon or half marathon. 5K, oh. I can sense that this is like a great 5K road shoe. And since I won't be doing too many 5K road races in 2019, I bet I end up doing maybe two or three. I will use this shoe to sharpen for my marathon. So when I wanna really go fast in a road workout, and I think it is important to do road workouts before a marathon to get used to running fast on asphalt or pavement, uh, this will be perfect for 800 repeats, 1200 meter repeats. 
I would probably go with the PEG 35 Turbo for mile repeats, just for a little more cushion, but for shorter interval, interval workouts on the roads, oh, this is gonna be the money shot for me in 2019. One first impression that really stuck out today was the grip. I really felt like the shoe was gripping the road really well. And it's called this Power Track Rubber. Power Track Rubber. It's supposed they're advertising it as being three times as uh, grippy, if I can use that word, compared to other rubber outsoles on other shoes. And I, I noticed it today. It felt really, really nice. And so I could imagine this shoe being really great for wet road races. So if you're if you know it's going to be rainy the next day when you're racing, this could be really important for gripping the road nice on those kind of wetter condition days. Uh, so that was one thing on the outsole. Now the outsole was a little stiff, a little hard, but as I the further I ran, the more my feet and legs got used to the kind of the stiff outsole on the bottom. Uh, nothing too crazy to complain about, but I did notice like it was kind of a stiff landing, but by the end of my run today, I was like, ooh, this is nice. I'm gonna go fast in this shoe, again, for the mile, 5K distance, maybe 10K distance. Okay, on to my favorite feature of the shoe so far, and again, just my first impression, the tongue. That's right, I know that's silly to say. The tongue of this Fast Twitch 8 is really engineered nicely, if I can use the word engineering uh, loosely here. It just has this really nice uh, form to it, but also a little bit of padding right here in the front where the laces are gonna really lock down over the top of your foot. So the laces aren't gonna cut into your foot because of this nice padding right right at the top of, I guess where the, the top of your foot meets kind of your ankle as it starts heading up the your leg. So anyway, kudos to Saucony for a really nice tongue and I know that's a really small detail to a shoe but I appreciate a good tongue on a running shoe. I'm just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. And my last first impression for the Fast Twitch 8 is that the sizing was normal. Uh, you don't need to size up or size down in my opinion. It just it felt great and it was not narrow. You know a lot of racing flats can be a little narrow through the midfoot. I didn't feel that at all. At all. Uh, the, the midfoot felt fine you know just normal sizing overall. And the keyword of the day, keyword of the day has nothing to do with this shoe. Nothing to do with this shoe. That's right. The key word is first. That's right. First. And I'm throwing you a complete curveball. Again, this is not a running shoe review channel. As grateful as I am for these two shoes in my possession, rather, I'm here to, to share my story and to hopefully learn a little bit about your story. And therefore, the question of the day. This is, it's emotional. Do you remember your first run ever? Can you even comprehend that question of the day? Think back, think back, where you actually had a pair of running shoes, you laced them up, and you, you told yourself, wow, I'm going for a run. I'm going for a run. I remember mine. It was in middle school with my dad. I remember mine very, very distinctly. I won't tell you the story about it now, but that is the question of the day. Thank you for answering. What do you remember and what was your first run ever? Ever. And I'm not talking about soccer practice. I'm not talking about basketball or I'm not talking about, you know, chasing down a kite. I'm talking about where you went for a run. And there you go. That's it. Thanks for sharing a little bit of your story down in the comments. And thanks for listening to a little bit of mine here on YouTube. Woo! Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.